It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to set up third-party email accounts to receive in Gmail. So, in Gmail is a very useful mail service that you can receive your mail in and stuff. And so, the, uh, the web app for Gmail is really cool and it has a whole lot of features. But normally that's only for your Gmail account. But what if you had some other account that's not a Gmail account? Maybe it was from a, a different service like Gmail or maybe it's actually uh, off a website or something like a, a custom domain email for your work or something. Then what if you wanted to receive the emails that come into that address in Gmail as well? Well, there's actually a very easy way you can do that. So the obviously the easiest way would be to set up a mail forward mail forwarding so that the emails forward straight from that the that other email address to Gmail and then they come in that way. But so, some email providers don't offer a mail forwarding service which can be pretty annoying. But there's actually one other way that you can also add to set it up to receive that address emails from that address in Gmail. And that way is more complicated, but it is still quite easy. So, in this episode, Timmy's going to show you how to so do So, when you're signed into your Gmail account, you need to go up here in the top right corner and click on Settings. Then, in the drop-down menu, come and click on Settings. And then, across the top here, go over to Accounts and Import. And scroll down to check mail from other accounts and then click on add mail account and then a pop-up window appears here and so you need to type in the email address that you'd like to add and then so once you've typed that in click next and then you need to select import emails from other e other account and it will probably be selected already but if it's not you just need to select that one and click next and then now you're going to need some information from your other email service provider so the username and password that you use to log into your other email account and the pop server and the port so you can usually get this by logging into a settings page or something like that or if you had someone else set your email account up for you you may need to contact them and ask them to tell you what the details are but so you need to get these details and then fill in the username so you need to put in the username which may just be name or it's quite likely it's the entire email address but just put in whichever one it is and then the password that you use to log into your email account. And then you need the pop mail server. So it's possible that it is just this, but there's quite a high chance that it's something completely different. So you should always check. And then over here, you need to select which port it is. So the port can be pretty much any different one so you you need to make sure and check that as well so just click on the once you know your port just click on that and then select the port that it is and then you have these boxes to check it doesn't ma really matter what you tick here but it just depends what you'd like it to do so if you'd like it to leave the email on your other email account but then also copy it then you should tick this box and then if you if your account uses the secure connection you would need to check this box and then label of incoming message messages so when a, when messages come in they they will come into a folder as well as your inbox so you need to select what you'd like the label to be which would probably just be the email address or something and then and then if you don't want the messages from this account to come into your inbox you can tick this one but if you you probably don't so you might not want to tick that one and then just click add account and then it says your mail account has been added so you can just click on finish and as you can see now in check mail from other accounts you can see the address here which is cool so now that's in there 
and if you click on your inbox you will now see any any emails that are sent to that address as well there's also another way that you can see only the emails that are sent to that address so you need to go over here and click on the folder whatever you decided the folder to be named and these are the emails that came in from that other address so you can see all of them listed down there which can make it a bit easier if you don't want it to all be jumbled up like that so that's really cool and that's how it's done that'll be the end of this episode of tech time with Bye.